In this video, we're going to look at types of chemical reactions, and in particular, combustion reactions. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify a reaction as either complete or incomplete combustion, and also be able to write a balanced chemical equation for a complete combustion reaction. So what are combustion reactions? It is a reaction between oxygen and a substance, usually a hydrocarbon, which means it's combined of carbon and hydrogen, to produce an oxide and energy. It's usually a fast reaction and one that produces heat and light. Complete combustion occurs when there's lots of oxygen available. And in this case, the fuel is converted to carbon dioxide and water only. The energy is also shown here on the product side because it is also a product of the reaction. Incomplete combustion occurs when there's not enough oxygen. And other products can include carbon monoxide, which is a deadly gas, and carbon, sometimes we refer to it just as soot or ash because it would be a black solid carbon residue. Looking at this picture, we can also see that this happens with Bunsen burners. In a complete combustion reaction, the Bunsen burner flame is usually nice and blue. If it's incomplete, we get a yellow flame. And in general, when we are doing labs, we want to see the nice blue flame in our Bunsen burner. Let's write the balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of propane. Propane is C3H8. Combustion always involves oxygen in the form of O2. And because this is complete combustion, it's giving us carbon dioxide and water. Because the energy is in the form of heat and light, we don't actually need it for our balanced chemical reaction. So now let's balance. We have three carbons on our reactant side and only one on our product. So let's add the three. Let's do the hydrogens next. We have eight on our reactant side and two on our product side. So let's add the four. Now let, uh, let's add up all of the oxygens that we have on our product side. So we have three times the two, so we have six in our CO2 and we have four times the one so four for our water, which gives us 10 total, which means we need to put a five in front of O2. Combustion reactions can be pretty tricky to balance, so hopefully this helps. Let's look at this. Is it a complete or incomplete combustion reaction? So looking at the product side, I see carbon monoxide, which is one of the possible products when we don't have enough oxygen. That means this is an example of an incomplete combustion reaction. If we look at this one, we only have carbon dioxide and water, which must mean we had excess oxygen, so this is a complete combustion reaction. Hopefully that helps you review your combustion reactions and you are now able to identify a reaction as either complete or incomplete combustion reactions. This concludes our videos on the types of reactions.